I believe we have officially reached a point where no news source is truly credible, meaning that nobody's views hold any value or relevance. In many ways, I think this was an inevitable conclusion of the internet and progression of technology. It is now impossible for the average person to know the truth about anything. As deepfake style videos continue to become more and more believable, I think we are quickly approach or may have already arrived to a point in which nothing you believe about anything holds any sort of validity. Video evidence is becoming increasingly dubious, it is incredibly easy for different news sources to spin up competing narratives on political or social events, and there is really no way for an average person to discern a difference. In essence, this will have set us back by 500 years. No longer can you trust anything you read, hear, or even witness video footage of. Now, unless you see things happen with your own eyes, your entire reality can be shaped by a handful of new organizations. It's honestly pretty scary to think about. The problem is not news sources but talking heads and opinion writers posted side by side with news. When you do this it makes it harder to distinguish real investigative journalism from the pieces designed to provoke emotional responses from the viewer. Even the most biased networks have pretty solid news coverage but the opinions stretching the truth and layering new meaning till everyone is a Nazi or a communist needs to stop. We don't even need deep fakes or advanced technology for the news to be deceptive. Videos edited to exclude lead up or focused on one small part of a crowd can leave out important context and articles can be headlined and written in a way that selectively presents facts and yet still omits key details and doesn't actually tell you why something happened. Even pictures of people like politicians can be chosen in a way that presents them in an unflattering pose, depending on what kind of message the editors want to portray. News has always been biased to certain degree. It depends on what you are looking for. Reuters, is pretty good at providing general information. The truth is, Many people who read slash watch the news respond emotionally to what they are absorbing. That is how many news outlets keep them addicted, similar to social media, people get all wrapped up emotionally and lose logical thought. They want what confirms their ideas not what is actually going on. I disagree on the part where you could trust the news in the past, the lies were just harder to expose. I don't have much time, so here is my clip notes on my thoughts, the media lies. They spin, they omit, the select what they want. So what? News media has always done this. Check out Yellow Journalism and the Spanish-American War of 1898. News media is for profit in most, if not all cases. Their revenue model is getting you to read, click, watch, listen. To whatever they are posting. It stands to reason that they will only publish things that they feel will drive revenue up. The alternative is state-run press. I don't think anyone wants that. Imagine Trump or Obama deciding what news you get to hear. We have libel laws already in this country. Libel is something that should have a high burden of proof, otherwise a political figure could sue and censor much of bad press against them. Okay, now that I've said all that, what can we do? I certainly don't like biased news reporting, but it's unlikely we can stop it. In my opinion we need to focus on a couple of things. 1. Get your news from multiple sources with multiple biases. 2. Make schools teach critical thinking and philosophy. Essentially, teach kids to ask questions and wonder about the world as it is and what it could be. 3. Fact check. 4. Educate yourself on history. Many of the things we are dealing with have been experienced before. Learn what worked and what didn't. Try to find contrast in views. X, if you're American, read Aboy I The American Revolution from the British perspective. In summary, we can't stop the bullshit. Let's try to be better about not stepping in it. Edit, I wanted to clear something up, as I didn't do a great job of answering it in my clip note argument. As one commenter already pointed out, there is a difference between state-run and, and state-funded media. The US is one of many countries that has state-funded media in PBS and NPR. I'm not opposed to either in theory. I think all three can live harmoniously. My argument is the strongest of the three should be media independent of the government.
as long as we have a free press where anyone can cover any story they please, the other two won't be an issue. Also, PBS and NPR are constantly under attack by conservatives on this country for being too liberal. Imagine a world where those are your only two options. There would be so much fighting for control, it wouldn't be good for anybody. You realize fake news has been a problem since the 1700s. Were it not for fake news a lot less people would have joined in the American Revolution. I know it's ironic that I'm linking a news source, but Hassan Minhaj from the Patriot Act just made a video related to this a few days ago. HTTPS colon slash slash www. YouTube. Com slash watch, V equals I C nears V1 RLA, HTTPS colon slash slash www. YouTube. Com slash watch, V equals I C nears V1 RLA. Main message, support your local newspaper. They provide the most helpful news about your community and are much more politically neutral compared to CNN, Fox News, etc. Maybe you should stop watching CNN, MSNBC, and Fox News to try and find credible news. There's a ton of great sources out there people just don't read them. People like feeling outrage when they read a bias article. But you could read articles from the AP or Reuters which are pretty objective, they're just boring because they're not sensationalizing every news story and actually give both sides of an issue. NewsHour is also pretty thorough and not particularly biased. Reuters though, Reuters is actually pretty good, truth exists, but in this world, perception will always win. I like PBS NewsHour, it's the most unbiased news I have watched. It's not perfect, no news is, but leagues above Fox News and CNN. I agree, no news source is credible and it's dishonest for people to say it's always been this way because there used to be a time they were more subtle and less biased to a degree. Going back too far the past they were actually worse. We are at an awkward time, where the news is completely uncredible, but they still retain leftover popular legitimacy. So their dishonest can still cause some damage. You also have to realize that the kind of information that spreads the fastest isn't news but narratives, and the difference is naturally the added spin. One half of the population thinks the other half is brainwashed, thanks to the news. In fairness, we've actually improved a lot, at least considering historically the government, church, or leaders had general control of the news and how it was presented, I. E. Dark Ages, Middle Ages. In fact the first newspaper didn't exist until the 17th century. And it wasn't until it was privatized that the alterations were really as obvious, and even then most people generally trusted the news. The fact of the matter however, is that it hasn't gotten any worse, it's just gotten more politically driven, schizophrenic in its narratives, and the public has finally had enough freedom to decipher fact from fiction. Don't forget, Weekly World News was the eighth most circulated paper in the world at one point, and that was part of the birth of the modern tabloid. Now all the news sources are tabloids.